the video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can rotate and copy a path. And I'm going to show a couple of examples in Illustrator CC. Now, same approach should work okay in early versions as well. I can't uh, guarantee that. Now, first thing you do, just going to go to R or rotate. So just press R key on the keyboard. You'll notice just select over here, rotate tool. And what you want to do then, just go there and you see a little center point. Just hover over there, center point, and then hold down the option or alt, obviously on the alt on the uh, PC. And I'm just going to just drag that over and move that around. You can obviously move it anywhere. I'm just moving it straight line across. So you can just drag it to there. Once you've done that, it'll release and you'll see this little dialog will pop up. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to set that to 10. So and then click copy. Now what you want to do is then command or control, control on PC, and then just go command D, control D, and just go all the way around, just duplicating this design. Okay, and there you have it. Very quick and simple, rotate and copy. Now what you can also do, I'm just going to now go and select another part. I'm just going to select the pen tool, just quickly create a design there. Right. What I want to do then is set a width profile and set that. Okay. Now I can do exactly the same. Again, R. So it makes sense you've got to rotate. And then again, you'll notice a little center point there. Just drag that over to that point or any other point, it doesn't have to be there, so I can just drag it over to there, release, and again, maybe set 15, it doesn't have to be exact, 15.8, whatever, you can set, make it a semicircle, you don't have to go all the way around, click copy, and then again, command or control D, and you'll go around that, and just repeat that over and over and over again, until you go all the way around, or like I say, whenever you want to stop, don't have to go all the way around, just be an arc of those designs. So there's another design created. Now, just remove that. And what you can do then, also you can do it with type. So I'm just going to quickly go, say this is some type. And on a second line or third. Okay, so you've got that. And again, R. And you'll see then the center point appears here. It's not in the middle, so the center point's over here. And again, hold the Alt or Option and just drag that to the position you want. And I'm just going to go over here to about there. And again, you've got up there, it comes up. And again, you can go for, say, 10. And again, Copy. Command D and just go all the way around like that. Right. Now, next one do, I'm just going to finish off now. I'm just going to quickly create that shape and another shape and I'm just going to so set that to red so you've got two paths and once you've got that obviously just go again to R and you see the center point there again alt and just drag that over there and again it comes up with the same thing and to say 15 click copy and you've got the two obviously just been duplicated and again command D control D and just go all the way around like that. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.